Thank you, Lord. Look at that one. Spots gonna be 15? Mm -hmm. Spots gonna be 15? Everything. Good. So I have had plenty of time now to reflect on this Kentucky Lake Tournament. 
basically when I went up there, I went up there when the with the predetermined way that I was going to fish, and I thought I was going to be fishing main river current a lot. I thought the fish would be pre-spawn out on the main river big time. I thought there'd be a lot of current, and I thought that the water would be a little stained. When I got there, I realized that there was no current. The water was clear, and the fish were definitely on the main river. Problem is, I couldn't figure out how to make them bite consistently. So, almost all of practices y'all saw, I fished in creeks. I fished a little in the, on the main river because I really <clears throat> just thought if I didn't find anything, I would just run main river stuff all day. So basically, in practice, I tried to fish a lot of docks, a lot of creeks, a lot of different water color. Try to find some current in some creeks. I never found anything good in creeks at all. So I said I'm just gonna run the main river. I did go over to Barkley once twice actually and I found that one giant six pounder and that was kind of a ghost fish I went over there there was a lot of current that day the water was stained I caught that one cranking I just thought that I was on fish like the whole rest of the, that day and it, that's probably four or five more hours of straight cranking main river bank like I did in that to catch that one and never had another bite so that was kind of a ghost fish kind of wasted half a day of practice um the tournament was actually one on the same exact place that I fished the all-american in 2012 Behind this one island, on day two, I caught almost 14 pounds, which is not a lot, but that was the biggest bag. That was the second biggest bag of day two in the All-American. And I caught them all in the same exact spot where the dude won this tournament. So I thought about going over there three or four times, but in the back of my head, I just said, you cannot win at a Barkley. So I stayed on Kentucky Lake. I elected to run the same, basically what I was trying to find was any kind of a different type of chunk rock that was deep or any kind of pea gravel that really, really d dropped off into the main river. So basically, you would find these really, really hard and defined pea gravel little washouts, and then they would drop off extremely, extremely fast, and you would slow roll a crankbait or swim bait bomb, and you could usually catch a fish off almost every single one of them, but they were all short. I just had to figure eventually, that's the only place I could get bites, so I had to figure eventually I would catch five fish. Um, day one, I caught more fish than I caught all every day of practice combined. I caught a ton of short fish. Oh, I hadn't been running those kind of areas in practice. I was kind of saving them for a tournament because I knew they were, the fish lived there. So I, when I finally ran it, I got all those bites. I was like, I'm gonna catch five today. At some point I have to. I'm just gonna catch five 15 inches. I mean, there's just no way I'm not. Never happened. Um, Actually, I caught that first keeper that I had. I never even measured it. It was like a 15 incher, but it was super fat. It's the one where I said I got one. They threw it in the bump tank, measured it, they swiped the tail three times, it didn't touch. So I was like, I never measured that fish. I never measured it, threw it in the live well. I just looked at it, said so that's a 15 incher. He flipped it over and it barely touched, threw it in the bag. I was like, thank God. I did not I thought I was gonna lose that fish and have a two pound penalty. So that was awful. Anyways, day two, my plan was I was gonna run um the high percentage points that I had fished on day one, like the super good ones I knew I'd get a bite off of, or I was like, you know, real confident I would get a bite off of, then I was gonna go to that marina where I caught the fish, and then I would have like three quarters of the day left to really either go to Barkley and fish current, or if I got some bites, I would know what's going on. So the first point I pull up to, boom, catch one almost four pounds. Second point I go to, boom, catch a three pounder. So now I'm like, okay, I caught all these short fish yesterday. Today, the bigger ones have pulled up. Because this pre-spawn, the fish are trying to pull up. There's gonna be one day where all of a sudden they just head to the bank and then they're just there so basically those two fish gave me the false hope to stay around and run what i was running on day one so that's what i did i ran the pretty much the almost same exact water i mean i dialed it into a little bit more of the higher percentage stuff but i mean it kind of gave me false hope and that's kind of what made me waste day two but anyways we ended up 41st place out of a hundred and 48 or 150 something like that so 41st place we did not get a check we actually missed a check by 15 ounces so if i would have had one more pound i would have got a check and i knew that at 7 15 i caught both them fish on this video first thing in the morning by 7 15 i knew i needed one more two pounder to get a check so basically day one i caught two on a cinco texas rigged and i caught you know all them short fish i lost two on a jig that, that definitely would have helped but then i lost I caught a bunch on a Cinco and a bunch on a jig and some on a rig on day one. On day two, I caught that four pounder on a jig and I caught that three pounder on a 5.8 inch Kitek in Tennessee shad with a quarter ounce head and a five volt hook. That's on only weighed in four keepers. So that's all I could do. Nobody in the whole tournament weighed in the limit each day. I think the guy who won 
caught 10 fish. I think so. He might have caught 11, but 10 fish in three days. You know, that just shows how bad that lake is. Anybody who's trying to go to Kentucky Lake, don't do it. Go anywhere else you can go. Right now, it might actually be fun to be there because there are some super, super big fish in that lake, and they probably are spawning like as we speak. So right now might be fun to be there because you might find one of those giants on bed, but I would not do it. I ain't going there. I don't want, I'm not going there fun fishing. I guarantee you that. But anyways, it's beautiful here. You can see behind me, all the trees are green. They're bedding on Chickamauga, and that's where we're going. I'll see y'all next time.